What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Afan, and today we'll be watching Avatar The Last Airbender, episode uh, 8 in season 3 the puppet master before we get into the episode though a couple of things if you want the shirt link in the description it'll always be all that stuff link in the description as well and if you want to see four and three actions link to that in the description down below as well anyways a little bit about the last episode it was called the runaway and i thought it was going to be about tough and it was about well actually it, it was about tough but also the rest of the gang right we saw mostly guitar actually and we sort of, well, discussed the thing that, I mean, in a way we already knew. We knew Katara was the mom of the group. I've uh, talked about this before as well. That's partially why, you know, the whole Aang and Katara thing is a bit weird to me. Because I'm like, eh, she's kind of their mother. Not really, though. She's not actually their mother. So, you know, and Toph finally sort of addresses it. Like, look, you're not her mother, so stop acting like it. And I... You know, she has a point. She can be bossy at times, but I think it's a good thing that she is that way. I mean, we saw Sokka's account of how he doesn't even remember his own mother anymore. I mean, when he thinks about it, right? He thinks about Katara. He sees Katara. I mean, in a way, that tells me not only that Katara has done a really good job of being, you know, a, the big sister. Well, I was going to say big sister, but she's actually younger, right? And Sokka. But sort of a big sister or a motherly figure, but also she looks like her mom. Well, who would have thought? Or maybe that's not what they meant by it, but that's what I took out of it. And that was a pretty uh, sweet scene, Sokka and Toph. And uh, particularly since we know Toph kind of has a crush on uh, Sokka as well. And Sokka is completely oblivious to it, which is great. Because I mean, let's be honest, that's how it would be. If a little kid has a crush on an older kid, the older kid would just completely be oblivious to it. And then we take a look at Toph and how, you know, I mean, her parents... Ooh, again, we're kind of bossy, like Katara, but they were doing that for her own protection, or, or so they thought they were. Right? Toph doesn't really need any protection. She can very well handle herself, and uh, like she says so many times in the show, she does not need anyone or anyone's help or anything. She can do it all on her own, but she doesn't need to, and that was the message that you know they've been trying to teach her you know when they're having that tea in one of the previous episodes with iroh you know that was one of the topics they talked about and she finally i think got it like all right we're a team that means we're gonna help each other we're we're, we're gonna do things together but um you know it, it would hurt them because they never wanted anything bad for Toph, right like i said everything they did they did because you know they thought Toph needed protection so and she realizes that, and so she does feel upset, and she even said that one line, which was very sort of a heavy line, you know, how much I would have, or my actions would have hurt them, right? We normally don't really think about it that way. It was very good to see him, and it shows so much growth in Toph and pretty much the whole gang, and it's, like I, like I said in the last episode, it's, it's that... Um, character development book three i mean episode eight how many episodes are there i'm assuming 20 which means we're halfway through 16 okay well we're exactly halfway through this season last season and there's still character development that's great but yeah let's get into episode eight now the puppet and master in season three so yeah let's do this i'm assuming they combined a few episodes together as well just as they did in the, you know, other books. But yeah, without any further, I'm out and do The Puppet Master. Book 3, Chapter 8, The Puppet Master. Heard something down the hall in the dark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of Wing Fun was haunted! Oh! <laughs> I think I liked the man with the sword for a hand. <laughs> this performance was pretty good, especially on how you hit the high note there. My cousin knew some guy that this happened to stories. No, it happened to mom. Hmm. You've got everyone's attention. Mom buried the whole village for weeks. A month later, mom realized she hadn't seen her friend Nini since the storm. Mom turned and saw Nini standing by the fire. Aren't her eyes blue? <laughs> Nini's house stands empty to this day, but sometimes people see smoke coming up from the chimney. <gasps> Wait! 
Guys, did you hear that? I hear people under the map. Cry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. Think she might be serious because we're getting this camera. It just stopped. All right, now I'm getting scared. <laughs> That's Nini. Oh. My name is Herma. Hmm. Is she up to something? Herma is Nini, isn't she? I'm calling it right now. <laughs> no, you should be careful. People have been disappearing in those woods you were camping in. Yeah, her eyes are blue. They weren't before, they were like grayish. Come out. Who wants more tea? <laughs> Why do I get creepy feelings from her? Why is she too nice? Do you know what I mean? Be able to fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Spit from the mouth, lovely. When I was little, I used to be like that. I would sleep in the bed and wake up under the bed. <laughs> that Mr. Yao seems to have a thing for you. <laughs> we should go back and see if he'll give us some free Komodo sausages. Mm, he'll give you a Komodo sausage, but not... Anyways. <laughs> I think you and I are going to get along swimmingly. Yes, you will. Tomorrow's the full moon. Exactly. I can't lose another delivery boy in the woods. This just reeks of spirit world shenanigans. Oh, spirit world. Environment to make the spirits mad. And then you can sew up this little mystery lickety split. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. That's what he does. On a couple more errands, I'll be back in a little. You mean you'll be back after you kidnap a couple of children? Yep, I'm telling you. She's Nene or whatever she said, Nini or something. I don't know what it was. <laughs> That Hama seems a little strange. That's ridiculous. She's a nice... <laughs> a red thing on the... Okay, went away. And it's back. Lovely. I have to say, the, the gang looks... All of them look so much better in the Fire Nation attire. And the hair and everything. As much as I like Katara's Lupe Lupe's... <laughs> Uh, this looks better. And Aang with the hair looks so much better. <laughs> puppet Master! They're the puppets! She's the Puppet Master. Alright, cool. Huh? Then why does she have a locked door up here? Probably to keep people like you from snooping through- <laughs> I have to see what's in there! We shouldn't be doing this. Continue. <laughs> Everyone is against it, except no one is against it, because no one's stopping him. It isn't as easy as it looks. Guys, I... How do you know what it looks like, Toph? Suit yourself. Do it, Toph. <laughs> she does. <laughs> Hearts of all the children's I... Kidnapped. And she's got pointy nails. It's a comb. It's like an artifact or something? Up in the southern water she's Na Nini! I told ya! Just like you today, so I could fix you a big water tribe. Kumquats are a lot like sea prunes if you stew them long enough. Yeah, he doesn't like prunes. <laughs> I thought when I heard prunes the first time, I was thinking of prawns. I was like, she doesn't like, uh, he doesn't like shrimp <laughs> or prawns, rather. Accepted. Now let's get cooking. Okay, she's definitely evil. She's got like pointy nails. <laughs> hey, it's a kid's show, right? <laughs> What's that all about? I wanted to share some. The sea prunes. I thought they were ocean kumquats. Close enough. <laughs> Toph's the only one who 
who didn't yeah so we're we're learning now that when they say fire bending and water bending and all this they don't really mean water or fire there's a bit more to it you know we saw a couple of examples of that already well this is one of them it was over 60 years ago when the raid started oh my she just has katara's loopies is that katara's mom Sokka said I see Katara when I think about mom, right? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Each time rounding up more of our waterbenders and taking them captive, we did our best to hold them off. But our numbers dwindled as the raids continued. She's the only one left behind. Now watch me whip. Now watch me Nene. She is Nene, I'm telling you. Finally. I too was captured, a bender of the Southern Water Tribe. Please tell me that's her mom, Katara's. Because that'd be kind of cool. Same, you know. Fire Nation, I was the only one who managed to escape. I'd like to teach you what I know so you can carry on the Southern tradition when I'm gone. <laughs> okay. Might have been wrong, but I'm st still don't trust her. Might have been wrong. <laughs> when we were stranded in the desert, I felt like there was almost nothing I could do. Yeah. I've even used my own sweat for water bending. Yep. You can even pour water out of thin. Yeah. There you go. There's always water in the air. There's water in places you never think. Pretty much everywhere, really. Maybe the moon spirit just turned me. The moon spirit is a gentle, loving lady. She ruled the sky with compassion and lunar goodness. <laughs> he really did like her, didn't he? Only one man ever saw it and lived, and that's old man Ding. Where does old man Ding live? <laughs> <laughs> and like all plants and all living things they're filled with water i met a waterbender who lived in a swamp and could con yeah i was gonna say about the lilies though when you're a waterbender in a strange land you do what you must to survive yeah, kind of like a last resort sort of thing. Bending. It can only be done during the full moon. Okay. There it is. She is the one. Okay, cool. Waterbenders beneath a full moon? I don't think we have anything to worry about. No, I think you do, Katara. I think you do. An old lady who lives in the forest. Or spends time in the forest. Old man Ding? Huh? His most powerful, I was expecting him to do that. What? You know, his most powerful in the full moon, and then kids disappear during the full moon. Yeah. Right what a coincidence. Old... <laughs> <laughs> oh. We're young <laughs> yeah, aren't we all? You get a good look at the spirit that took you? Didn't see no spirit, tried to fight it, but I couldn't control my own limb. But then, the sun started to rise, and I got control of myself again. Okay. <laughs> to a mountain. Oh no! I did hear people screaming under the mountain. The missing villagers must still be there. If it is what I think it is, that is bloody awesome. Can you feel the power the full moon brings? For generations, it is blessed with... Ah, uh, okay. I've never felt more alive. Come on. Come on. Bro, I'm so excited. Oh, if it's not what I thought, oh, I'm going to be so disappointed. <laughs> We're saved. 
Well, how do you know? <laughs> no spirit. It was a witch. The old lady. Seems like a normal old woman. She controls people like some dark puppet master. I knew there was something creepy about her. Something. There's a lot creepy about her. The guards were always careful to keep any water away from us. Any sign of trouble was made wow. a cruel retribution. I realized that where there is life, there I is water. <laughs> across the floor of my cage were nothing more than skins filled with There it is. Years developing the skill that would There it is. Um, <laughs> let's go. There it is. Control Come on, that's what I thought. But you can only do it in full moon. Man, that would have been so much cooler if you could just go do it whenever. And during the next full moon, I walked free for the first time in decades. Control anything or anyone. Yep. I don't know if I want that kind of power. Katara, come on. And it's your duty to use the gifts you've been given to win this. I was thinking that too. Use it to win the war. Our entire culture, your mother, we have to fight these people whenever we can. Wherever they are with any means necessary. Not all people, though. Just the soldiers. They threw me in prison to rot, along with my brothers and sisters. Yeah, but not the, again, not the regular civilians, you know what I mean? Won't allow you to keep terrorizing this town! You might not have a choice. You should have learned the technique before you turned against- There it is. Stop! Please! Hmm. <laughs> Full moon? Oh, okay, she's using it. She's using it. Go on, tear bend. <clears throat> Lovely. Spin her around. Or spun her around. You've outnumbered yourself. Oh, yeah, because now she can control them. Yep. <laughs> the brain is the mind of it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ang. It's okay. I understand. <laughs> Got him. Skatara and don't. <laughs> that takes the stop hitting yourself to a whole other level. Is Katara doing the bending now? Yeah, blood bending. Go on. <laughs> You're going to. My work is done. Congratulations, Katara, for a blood bender. I mean, if you're not a... It's difficult. If you're not a bad person, then you shouldn't really have to worry about it, you know? All right, yeah, that was a pretty cool episode. I liked it quite a lot. Katara learned something new. Very important, actually. Well, actually, she learned a couple of new things. The drawing water from the plants and also blood bending, which is so cool, man. I was actually thinking about that because I... You know, I was thinking, like, when they say water bending, they don't really mean water. They mean just liquid, right? And we saw multiple examples of that. I guess there's water in everything, so you technically could call it water bending still. But with earth bending, for instance, it's not just earth bending. I mean, we saw the meteorite, right? Uh, Toph bending that. That's not earth. So by earth, they mean like rocks and, you know, stuff like that. Dirt and stuff like that. Fire bending, it's not just fire, right? Because we saw the lava thing, right? That's rocks, but 
there's heat involved as well. We saw Sozin sort of taking the heat out of the uh, lava. And so that made me think that, okay, there's different things that you can do. It's not just water or not just fire or not just earth. You know, there's more to it. Now that makes me think, well, air, right? Well, what is that? really entail how could you you know how are they going to reveal that because they haven't revealed much about that uh, yet so far i mean all we see is just air right we haven't really seen a different sort of a subgenre or something like lightning or something like that right metal bending so on and so forth but it's so good to see that all right so okay this man <laughs> uh, this makes it really you know i i was gonna say this makes it easier for me to pick which element i, I would like it like which bender that was a question asked at the very start if you could control one element which one would it be fire earth or i was gonna say it makes it easier to pick water because if you can just control anyone at any point i mean come on that's like the you know that's it you've won <laughs> but you can only do it in full moon, so... But then again, there's water everywhere, and so you can draw water from anything. We're sweat, tear, even, you know, number one. <laughs> anything, really. Liquid, because that's what it really is, right? It's not just water. Liquid. Any form of water, basically. Because I guess, well, anything liquid is still water. You know, it's just mixed with something else. But yeah, Hama, 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 Hama. Is Hama was Hama Nini? Nene, Nini? Nene? What was her name? I forgot. I forgot. Stupid joke. I keep me. I forgot her actual name. Nini, right? I think that's her actual name. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not entirely sure if she was or was not. But the 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 girl with the loopies is that uh, Katara's mom? I'm not entirely sure. Was she, was she a bender? I'm not sure actually. And also, we now know why there were no benders in the southern water tribe because well they were all taken by the fire nation right we saw some in the northern temple i mean in the northern t tribe but not in the southern and so now we know we finally got an actual reason why that i mean we knew it had to do something with war uh, now we actually know they were after the benders in particular right you know because i mean the village still had people it just didn't have any benders at all and another by the way another another jet it seems that this world has a lo lots of jets and not only in the air temple but also everywhere else okay yeah that was a shit joke <laughs> you know jet the character right fire nation's impact on individuals and in a way the fire nation has created these villains they have created these terrorists right and while what they're doing and the you know the way they're going about it i mean revenge at the cost of whatever right doesn't really matter as long as i hurt the fire nation right doesn't matter who i hurt along the way as long as you know it's connected to the fire nation that's not okay and that's the problem with jet and that's the problem here with hama as well and i'm assuming there are several others like that affected by this war and by the fire nation it's kind of ironic because the what was uh sozin's mission or goal or the you know the vision he had was to spread prosperity so in the you know in, in an effort to spread prosperity well, they've created lots and lots of villains and ruined people's lives really pretty much the opposite of prosperity but uh hey that's how it starts you know uh, yeah well anyways let's not go into politics but yeah that's how it always is in real life as well and i think they've done a really good job of portraying that and um water bending i would say now is definitely on like the top of the list for me still i'm not sure if i would pick that though I, i'm very intrigued by fire and i would like to know more about fire before it was fire that i would like to control at the top now i, I well, actually i don't know if uh, water is now above fire because uh, i still don't know everything about fire so i would like to finish this and then at the end we'll talk more about which you know I'll, uh, is there a quiz, by the way, like a sorting hat sort of quiz, you know, Harry Potter, you know how I got into Ravenclaw there. Is there like a quiz like that that I could take and they'll probably like put me in one of the nations or tribes or whatever, right? I'd love to take that quiz if there is one. There should be. I mean, it's pretty much like HP, right? There's pretty much, they're pretty much different houses, right? Or nations in this case. I'd like to know what I would be based on the answers I give. I mean, I know what I would like to have, but what I actually am, right? That That's what that quiz does, is it tells you 
based on the answers you give, right? So that would be very interesting. I'd like to like to take a quiz like that. I mean, they should have it. If they do, please let me know. I'll, I'll, I'll absolutely take it. But anyways, yeah, that was a fantastic episode. Again, development, more development. We're literally having... Well, after watching this, we're past the halfway point in the finale of the entire series, not the season. Still, more development, world building, not just characters, and it's brilliant. Now, Katara's got a very dangerous weapon, but she can only use this in the full moon, though that's the only problem with that. I love the little references they gave, you know, about the swamp and the desert and, uh, you know, different references. Yue, that was, I thought that was kind of cute. Saka, you know, still, yeah, it's true love right there. <laughs> it's lovely. And it was kind of, the whole episode was kind of ominous and I wouldn't say scary, but I mean, I, I, I mean, I think it would definitely be scary for kids, but it was definitely ominous. It did have that sort of creepy sort of vibe the entire time. And that woman, by the way, she was being very sweet at the start, but there was something about her that was just not right. And you just knew something's up with her. But anyways, that's what I think. Do let me know what you think. Like I said, if you want a shirt, link in the description. Full length reaction, description, Patreon, donezo. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a nice...